My initial reaction is the same as it was for the family and as it was for many Belizeans, Isani. It was one of shock, complete shock. Um, and as an officer of the court, I could see why people have a very poor uh, perception of the justice system in our country. It is a very sad reflection of the reality that, reality that we are living in because um, if you just think about it for a second, if this were four other young black boys from the south side of Belize City chasing somebody and shooting at them and the person died, all four of those individuals would have been charged for murder. But the fact of the matter is that this was somebody wearing a uniform. And so it appears that the police department is bending over backwards, and it's unfortunate that I must say that. But the fact of the matter is I was prepared in my mind mentally for a charge of manslaughter at the worst case scenario, worst case scenario, because um, it is clear to be seen where a charge of murder could have been made out to, ha to have your weapon drawn, uh, to raise that weapon, to then pull that trigger and to have a bullet go through the back glass where your head is, a very good case could have been made out for murder. And so that's what I, I'm not, I'm not going to say hoping for, but that's what every, all the evidence was leading to. This is such a blatant act of abuse of power, of excessive force, of unjustified force being used that I see a very substantial award coming. And like you said, it's unfortunate that the taxpayers will have to pay for the act of this officer. Now it then comes down to taxpayers. Are we just going to sit by and allow our tax dollars to be spent like this? I think it is actually time for us to realize exactly what you are saying to me right now. That at the end of the day, if we don't mount an action, the Belizean people don't get up and condemn these acts and don't take a stand against these acts, then they will continue to happen.